Hi there, I'm Jessica Drossen, and today I'm going to demonstrate my product, JD Lightscaping Instant Overlays. Now, you might be wondering what exactly is an instant overlay? Basically, it's the same thing as a traditional overlay, where you would get a JPEG and then you would need to find that JPEG, place it on top of your image, change the blending mode and the opacity to suit your photo. With my instant overlays, I've taken a few steps out of that process. These overlays work exactly like the traditional ones, except now you can pull them up with an action. So there's no more need to dig through a folder, place them, and then adjust the modes. If you use one of my auditions, you can preview all 29 of these overlays, or you can simply trigger them one by one as you become more acquainted with how each one works. So to demonstrate, I'm going to hit Audition All. As you can see here, I also have Audition Full Image Overlays and Audition Movable uh, Rays and Flares. Some of these overlays cover the entire image and they are not essentially movable. You can flip them, but you can't move the light effects around. Uh, on other ones, they are movable, so there are certain rays and flares that you can actually grab your move tool and literally place them anywhere you want on your image. So there are two different auditions where those sorts of overlays are split up. But as I said, we're going to go through all of these and I'm just going to quick show you what they all look like on this image. And then I'm going to briefly explain some of the bonus actions here that are going to help you quickly manipulate these overlays so that they better suit your image. And then I'm going to quickly also go through some of these bonus custom light ray actions. Now, these don't work on every single image, the bonus custom ones, just these two down here, but they will work on many images, so I'm going to show you exactly how to use these best. So anyway, I'm just going to wait for a second for all of these overlays to pull up. Um, depending on the amount of memory allocated to your Photoshop, these additions might, additions might just take a few minutes to run, um, so if that, if that if that's too long for you, you can simply run each separately. Or you can allocate a little more RAM to your Photoshop. All right, so here we now have all of our different overlays. And I'm just going to quick run through what all of them look like. So this one's called Candy Coated Flare. This is Delicate Rays, and it is movable. So if I wanted to move it, I would just make sure that I have that overlay selected. Grab the move tool and I can reposition this wherever I would want to within the image itself. Let's say that I wanted to blur it a little bit. I would just make sure that it was selected and then I would go here to my bonus adjustment actions and I would hit overlay blur. I would say continue because I do have that particular overlay selected and it's going to give it a soft gentle blur effect. You can repeat that as many times as you want until it's uh, blurred to your satisfaction. Um, if I wanted to have a little less uh, gold tone to the ray, I would go here to overlay desaturate. Again, it's going to ask me to make sure that I have the overlay itself adjusted, but now you can see we've removed some of the color from that overlay. So now I'm just going to keep going down my uh, layers palette here as we try out other ones and I'll show you how we would adjust those with the bonus actions. So here this one is called Diagonal Light Ray but for me I'd like for that light ray to be coming from the opposite direction so I'm going to go here to Overlay Flip. Again I make sure that I have it selected. I hit the play button and now I can move that wherever I want to if I want to duplicate it, again, I make sure that I have it selected and I hit play. And now I can move this. So now I have two rays and I could do this, you know, as many times as I wanted. I'm going to turn these back off. This is dramatic side flare. If I wanted to flip it so that the, uh, the sun was coming from this direction, I would simply go here to overlay flip. And now I've reversed that. This is golden left corner flare. Golden right. Here is a ray. This is movable. It 
if I wanted to reduce any part of this, I could paint using a black, soft black brush right into that mask itself. Or I could reduce the opacity here. This is the hot spot flare effect. Off center flare. Again, I could flip that if I wanted to. Purple haze flare effect. The red ring flare. This is movable. Soft gold flare. Soft hazy flare. Soft warm rays. This little sparkly golden flare, which we can obviously move around wherever we want to. Some chunky sun rays. It's chunky bright. Chunky with warm. Chunky with contrast. Chunky warm. Delicate soft. Sun rays with some warm contrast. And delicate with contrast. And delicate warm. So there's a, a variety of, of these that you can pick from. Here's a sunrise flare effect. A little tiny flare that's movable. Warm light and white light. I'm just going to flip this. Kind of adds a little bit of a, of a vignette effect here across the bottom. Okay, so these are all of the uh, all of the lightscaping overlays. There's also a couple bonuses included down here. So, oops, this one fell off a little bit. So there's a bonus light ray coming from the left and a bonus light ray coming from the right. Because our sun is coming from over in this direction, I'm going to run the one that is going to come from the right. Now, this uh, bonus action should work well on this image because we do have a natural light area. If this uh, sky was dark all throughout, this action would not work, but because it is triggering um, what's actually really there, um, and this is a very bright spot, this should work fine. So I'm just going to go ahead and select it and hit the play button. Now if I wanted to, I could use a soft black brush here. And just paint some of that flare out of my, uh, my subject here. And let's just do a quick edit. All right. a little larger. All right, so here we go. There's just a, a really quick edit, um, only using the JD Lightscaping Instant Overlays. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I hope you have a lot of fun playing with this program. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.